Good evening to all of you. This is about the Lokpal bill. As all of you are aware, this has gone through a very checkered history. We had passed a Lokpal bill in the Lok Sabha. It was passed after extensive debate and all the political parties, including the principal opposition party, supported the bill and a version emerged out of the Lok Sabha. That bill was sent to the Rajya Sabha. Ordinarily, that bill should have been passed in the Rajya Sabha too, maybe with one or two slight changes, but usually a bill passed in the Lok Sabha is passed in the Rajya Sabha too. And it was our expectation that the bill will be passed in the Rajya Sabha. However, the bill was referred to a select committee. Government accepted that position. It went to a select committee. The select committee has now reported a redrafted bill. This is called the Lokpal and Lok Ayakta's bill as reported by the select committee of Rajasthan. <coughs> government has looked into that bill. Government has made only two or three changes in the draft reported by the Select Committee and the Minister of State for Personnel has moved official amendments. Otherwise, we have <coughs> broadly stood by the version reported by the Select Committee. Now, one would expect that this bill is passed in the Rajya Sabha. And uh, I'm willing to explain to you the provisions of the bill if you need to know. But this bill balances the interests of the government servant or the public servant, it, the interests of the investigating agency, the interests of the prosecuting agency, and it recognizes the preeminence of the low power. We believe there is broad consensus on the bill. Even on the two or three issues in which government has moved an amendment, we believe there is a consensus. And we think that this bill should be passed. This bill acknowledges the preeminence of the low power. It gives the low power the powers that are required to have an effective Lokpal. It gives the Lokpal power to investigate, power to prosecute. It leaves the matter under the control of the Lokpal until it reaches a logical conclusion. There's nothing in the bill which in any way erodes the authority of a Lokpal as we want a Lokpal to be. At the same time, the bill acknowledges that a government servant or a public servant must be presumed innocent until proved guilty and therefore builds in provisions that protect the government servant in the sense that he must be heard at every stage when action is taken against the government servant he must have an opportunity of being heard that is the very minimum of the principles of natural justice that has been built into the uh, provisions it gives powers of an independent investigating agency to the local power, its own prosecution powers. So by and large, I think this bill reflects all that this nation has debated over the last several months, and all that is expected to be in a bill that creates and empowers a local power. 